Hello, my name is Mark Asmus and I am with Plumline Solutions. In this video, I will cover how to quick send an accounts receivable invoice, including the quick send setup screen, the customer setup, and the process of sending the invoice. Let's begin. Here I am logged into Microsoft Dynamics SL. I have application server already set up and running. For more information on how to set up application server, see the how to configure application server video. You will need application server set up and running somewhere on your network in order to send quick send documents. To start, I will go to the foundation module group and under shared information, I will open quick send setup. This screen is used to configure defaults for the various types of documents that can be sent via QuickSend. I will switch to form view for easier viewing. For document type, I'll select AR invoice and memo. Delivery method, I will select email. I'll enter a notify and reply to email address. For the attachment type, you can choose whatever you like. I'll select Adobe Acrobat for a PDF file type. And then in the subject text and body, then enter a default subject text and body message. This can be changed on a customer by customer basis. There are also some variables you can enter to personalize the message. For example, I can enter invoices attached in the subject text. And in the body text, I can enter dear customer name, invoice reference number is attached. And during the quick send processing, the actual customer name and reference number will automatically get swapped in. Use the F1 help for more information on the various variables you can use. Once the quick send setup screen is populated, you'll want to specify which customers are to be quick send customers. This is done in customer maintenance. So I'll navigate to Financial Module Group, Accounts Receivable, and Open Customer Maintenance. I'll select the customer ID that I want to set up. And then I'll go to the Quick Send tab. And here, again, I'll switch to Form View for easier viewing. I'll select my document type, Invoice and Memo. I'll enter the receiver's email address. And notice just about everything defaults in from our setup screen. I can change things if necessary, but I'm happy with how this looks. Once I'm ready, then I can check the Quick Send checkbox to turn on Quick Send for this customer. Even with all of this set up, unless this checkbox is checked, the customer will not receive Quick Send invoices. In the bottom right, notice there's also an additional Receivers button where you can ent optionally enter additional email addresses that should receive invoices for this customer. I'll save and close this. Now it's time to test. I'll open the invoice and memo screen and I'll select a batch number that I've already entered and released. Here's an invoice showing for the customer we just set up. Now if I wanted to quick send this document, I can simply press the quick send button along the bottom. This will initiate the quick send request for app server application server to process. And because I have application server running on this machine, in the background I can see it begin processing our invoice. Once it looks like it's complete, I can check in my Outlook outbox and I can see the invoice queued up for emailing. And here's an example of the message and we can see that it swapped in the name of the customer and the invoice number in our body message, and the invoice document is attached. Alternatively, we can use the Invoice and Memo Forms report to queue up the Quick Send requests. So I'll go back into Accounts Receivable, Invoice and Memo Forms report. On the Select tab, I'll select the batch number that I want to process, and then I'll click Print. By clicking print, it'll print to the printer any customers in this batch that are not QuickSend, and it'll queue up the QuickSend customers and not print them. Once complete, 
Again, we can take a look at our application server. And we can see that it queued it up for processing. And I can look in Outlook and I can see that my invoice was once again queued up to be sent. This concludes the overview on how to set up accounts receivable invoices for QuickSend in Microsoft Dynamics SL.